Hello, welcome back friends. Uh, today we're going to continue into our Microsoft Excel and we're going to look this and start in the, in the insert tabs. If you don't know this terminology, please check the introduction video. Before starting this, uh, this, uh, this video today, uh, what I'm going to, to tell you that first I'm sorry for the inconvenience of the, of the noise in the previous videos. So I hope today I'm using the another tools. I hope it is will be much noiseless. So sorry for that. Also, I'm going to give to give thanks to you for making me reach these 200 subscribers. It wasn't easy to reach this number because these 200 subscribers, people like this, you see, 200 of them. It give me hope that I have something to give the community. If you don't subscribe my channel, please uh, do that by click subscribe button. Or if you want to search my channel direct into YouTube, come into YouTube and write this name, what, name here. As you will learn for easy, you will reach in my channel. You, see, you become a cross with this icon here. Please do subscription into, into, into my channel. So our concern in today in Microsoft Excel, we're going to look these two things here. Insert a pivot table, drag field, sort, filter, and change the summer, uh, change the summary calculation. As you see here in Microsoft Excel, if you become, if you are coming in across in data like this, you see a lot of them. So someone will tell you to read this data. Can you read this? I hope no. You can't read this because a lot of them, you can't finish it today. You can say you can finish it, but uh, it's not easy. A lot of them. So we're going to summarize this data. So there is a most useful tools that is called the pivot table. So today we're going to look this and we can look this summer here. But uh, to in a, in a in a in the coming videos we we'll look another things in a pivot table. So let's start. How to insert pivot table in this data like this? First, you're going to click this pivot table, or you can say angle, angle table, see here. You can click this. After that, it becomes selected. All of your data will become selected. As you see here, it say that it is going to take the data from the sheet one. As you know, the, your name here below, the name of sheet that you operate, sheet one. And the summary of data is this one, all of them. Simply because we want all of them, we can click OK. Click OK. After click OK, we'll open another sheet. For me, it said sheet 4. For you, we'll save sheet 2 because I have deleted many of the data to do some experiment to these tools. So, so it is same that it seems like that. It changed to Spanish 4 because I have deleted some of the sheet. Also, in the pivot table, it says that this is a pivot table 3. But for you, we'll say a pivot table one for you see here it is a default is selected to this cell so it is one to data from the spreadsheet one here as you say sheet one to here how to put data here you see here in the right corner it is said that pivot table field you're going to to search or you're going to select the field that will display into your pivot table simply here as you see in our data here say there is a product there here in the product if you if you take a look here you see that most of the product become what repeated as you see banana banana you see apple apple banana you see they they become repeated but because they are repeated it is it tell that it tell us that this is will be easy if we we summarize them <coughs> sorry if it will be it will be easy if we we summarize them so what we're going to do in our sheet here it is to insert the pivot table we are going we going to take this product because the product is the one that have become repeated it will be easy if you choose them this product we're going to put here into the rows take the product here and put into the rows you see all of them is not a lot of them you say as you see here a lot but here they say that this data is only seven of them one two three four five six seven say they say only seven of them 
is not a lot as you see here. We have dropped the first things. Also, we want if you we want this product, but we don't want these categories because also categories are repeated. <coughs> You can use this category or product, but for us we use this product. But we, we if you use another the categories, this data will not be useful. So let's talk, let's check this in amount. The amount will be the the data that we want here because they will display difference to this one. You see. Also, if we in this amount, we will put amount here in a value. Take the amount here and you drop down into value. You see, they become some, all of them are summed. You see, summation of this data in a particular in a particular product. Example, banana here, t shilling six, 670. Also, there is a banana here into 8,384. They become summed, all of them. And then, and they put it, the result here as a sum of amount. This is the sum of amount. As you see here, rows with summation of, of amount. Also in our pivot table, it is better to, to use another thing here as a filter because the filter will help us to change it in particular. As you see here in our Microsoft Excel sheet here, you see in a country. Our country, as you see here, uh, there is a difference countries like Kenya, Tanzania, and others. You see a lot of them. So we're going to filter by country, example. You can say that if you wanted to filter by country, you come here and select the country and put here in the filter. You see here, it say country. All of the countries, their data is here. So this is a summary of a pivot table. This is how we insert a pivot table. For our purpose of this video, we're going to we we don't going to take into the, the column, but also you can take uh, the filter in uh, in the column. What we're going to filter? Example: I'm going to filter this as uh, categories, but for this I'm not going to do that. But for you, you can you can you can try it. As you see here, the the data is displayed here. But uh, take a look here. You see, there is no any style applied here. Simply, you can come in the home tabs and apply style. I have, I have show you in the in the style videos. The, I hope you will understand it. If you take an, take another time to to <coughs> to watch the videos and come here and to put your styles for better looking of your Microsoft Excel sheet. This purpose of this video was how to insert the pivot table. In this way, we have inserted the pivot table as you see here. So let's look another thing here as a drug field. Drug field I have using that. I hope I have doing that as a drug field. I have dragged them. You see product, sum, and countries in the filter. I have dragged them all. Also, another thing is the sort. Sort. Let's look here in the sort. As you see here, how the data is arranged. As you see, apple, bananas, bean, and all of them. See? If I want to sort for the sum, if you see here in the sum, there is a sum, or, or some of them are, uh, you can say, are most or longest or the same bigger than the others. So if I wanted to change it in the arrangement, if I want it to be the, the, the highest amount to be at the top, simple can click the cell here and simple click right here. But if for, for good, you can highlight them and then right click then come here into a sort uh no but uh, it will be better if you select one as you can say click here the sort and come here into more option i can say in the more option i can say that i want the largest to smallest simply click it and then click okay you see it is become arranged to from the highest to lowest you see banana is a highest them so you can easily capture your product what product is mostly sell if you want any amount of it. so you can you can trap here by by doing that that is a sort you can sort your data and see if you wanted to change it from the smallest to highest you can do the same but you can change now into to the into the smallest i hope that make it, make some concern to you 
Also, there is this filter. We have used this filter. As you see here in, the, in our pivot table field, we say that in the filter we use the country. As you see here, country. It say all of the country. Simply, you can click this filter here and you choose one country, example, Kenya. Kenya, then click OK. You see that? All of this product displayed here is from Kenya. In, and it is not from another country. Example, if I want from Tanzania, you can capture where your sell is most. You can say you sell most than other country. You see, it, you become trapped. As you see here, you can choose different country like German and you see. See how it is look look like in the in the filter. That is how we filters. Also, the the things that here we say that it changes some summary calculation. As you see here in the in the default, the 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 Microsoft Excel was given that was given the sum of the amount. So if you wanted to to change this summary of calculation, just a simple right click in the cell, then come here into value field setting. Into value field setting, if you look here, you can see. There is a sum. The first one was given sum. Also, there is a count. There is every. There is a maximum. There is a minimum. There is a product means multiplication, count number, and also all them. So simply, you can click like this count. You can change and click OK. You see the data is changed now to count of amount, not for, not for the summation. You can change this by doing the same things here, and choose the another things here. Example, you, if you wanted to, to, to see the average of your data here, simply you can do like, the, like this. So, I hope you understand this. This is a part one video about this uh, pivot table. I hope you know now, now to insert a pivot table. If you see data like this and you wanted to convert into this one that can be easily read or looking. So simple, you can do like this. Here, I don't apply any style. You can apply style for your own because I have uh, talked to you in, uh, in uh, style videos in home tab. Simply, if you don't watch it, come uh, watch it again and uh, you can do it. Thank you. But uh, don't forget to subscribe into my channel. Thank you.